leaders, kenalin aku Fahri di sini selaku salah satu PIC dari program Youth Innovation Forum Three Countries Singapura Malaysia Thailand batch ketiga nih. Nah saat ini saya sudah ada di Bandara Soekarno Hatta. Nah di sini uh, teman-teman peserta delegates ini sedang berkumpul dan melakukan briefing keberangkatan sebelum kita berangkat program BIF tentunya. Seperti apa keseruan keberangkatan kita ke Kuala Lumpur Malaysia dan dua negara lainnya Singapura Thailand ikutin terus program Youth Innovation Forum Three Countries batch ketiga. Nah kali ini program Youth Innovation Forum Batch ketiga Di hari kedua ini kita sudah sampai di Nanyang Technological University Singapura Nah uh, di sini semua peserta delegates ini akan berdiskusi banyak sama mahasiswa di NTU khususnya Kita sharing session mengenai gimana sih mungkin cara masuk NTU, dapatkan scholarship dan sebagainya Nah seperti apa ya keseruan program Youth Innovation Forum Batch ketiga di Nanyang Technological University Stay tuned guys ada jurusan bisnis, kita juga ada biologi juga, ada yang computer related juga banyak. Uh, bisnis mungkin terkenal karena lulusnya cuma tiga tahun, bisa langsung kerja gitu. Yang lain mungkin uh, NTU memang sudah terkenal dalam. Uh, untuk part ini, mungkin aku bakal jelasin spesifikly buat anak-anak SMA yang mau daftar buat S1. Nah, pertama-tama uh, udah jelas kita harus mempersiapkan dari SMA yang baik, karena uh, I designed a session in a way to help you link all these different goals. I'm not sure if I answer your question correctly. We first introduce in the university uh, to all the undergraduates that they have to study. 
sustainable. Yeah, I'll try to go slow, but anyway, nothing much. More photo. And uh, again, just to kickstart, uh, I'd like to welcome you again uh, in Subway Education Group. And next year, we are turning 36 years old. So as you can see from the information, we have students over 25,000. They did move. So, which thing is important to solve first? Thank you very much. Uh, what I wanted to ask was, um, I want to clarify first, the SDG is under the UN, or it quote unquote under the UN, right? So what I wanted to ask is... I ask this question because I've been asking this to my lectures back in my home university, but uh, there is there, uh, still no answer. That satisfies that can satisfy my career. Into empty line, empty land. It is urgent that they in, increase their income, but in order to my so which is popular with the tourism sector. Yeah. So um, in my this really small village is uh, you know suburb. So uh, our mindset is different with the city uh, people. So uh, also here we have a low economy. So I'm going to talk about economy because also SDGs are uh, also uh, you know support for the economy. Is it that there's aren't enough good jobs in Indonesia, right? So how many people go abroad and take their money abroad and don't bring it back and invest in your country? Um, you have to figure out why is it failing, uh, and then. Again, break those problems down. The fact that everyone should be working to fix these problems. Um, and I think there's something to be said about it.
Okay, this is our winner for category the Summit Nutshell. Please give us a big round of applause. Farah Mukti Atala is a student in Indonesia University or in Bahasa Universitas Indonesia. The winner for the category the most outstanding delegate, Muhammad Nadif Rizkianto. <laughs> Okay, three, two, one.